So just out for a nice drive on a fairly wet day. Still dry enough to have the windows down, but I just parked here. Like this was just a regular park job. And then I look behind and with this, the stones back there, made for a great photo opportunity. Really wish this camera had a screen so that I could actually see what the fuck I was taking a picture of. But I've most of my last just been driving around trying to get to the coast so I could look at the waves and I got lost and couldn't find the spot I was going for. And now I'm here at the National Research Council and that's gated as fuck so. But uh, found a nice pretty stream leading on down to the ocean. You can definitely see the waves. I'm gonna get up to those rocks over there, get a better view of them. car looks pretty good from here and you know it's not it's not a bad looking car it's just really I don't like curves and this front end on this thing curves so bad when you actually get up to it so that's why I've never really liked this model of Trans Am because of how curvy it is and if I'd known how much money I was gonna put into it I never would have bought this thing like it's not it, two grand was a good deal on this He's back in Ontario, $5,000 for one in perfect running condition. Nothing special, just everything works. It's fair. So I got it for two, which seemed like a really good deal for the body being in perfect shape. But when you take into account that the, uh, you know, needed a new transmission and all the other work it needed, I got hosed. I spent over $8,000 on this altogether, and that's not an $8,000 car.